Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. In my last vlog, our contractor came over to our house to go over all of the renovations Chris and I are planning for the house. We got the go ahead to begin picking out new doors and faucets, fridge, tiles, and all that stuff. But our main focus is definitely upgrading our master bathroom. So we got up early, we grabbed a delicious iced coffee and a breakfast sandwich. And the first place we went to was the one and only Home Depot. We found a refrigerator we both liked and I am most excited about the size. The organization, the setup, like all of that was amazing. All of the drawers and compartments, but in particular, the two lower freezer drawers that uh, can separate mine and Chris's food from the kids' snacks and treats. We thought that was great. So we loved this one. And I also really like the variety of ice options. You can have curved ice, crushed, cubed, or even ice bites. Then we were deciding on a new back door and we found this sliding glass door with built in blinds. How cool is that? You know, to keep out the light, to keep out the cold in the winter or to keep out the heat in the summer. Just really, really cool. But you know, we thought French doors would be better. We decided that we're going to be getting a patio. We're going to build a patio in the backyard and the French double doors would just be a lot more elegant. We love that idea better. So we're going to go with that. And next we wanted to pick out more modern tile for the master bathroom. We're redoing the shower and the vanity. This place had so many options of tile. We looked at some gorgeous, gorgeous stone and there were a few different ones that we were trying to decide on, but I think we've picked out two that we really liked. We picked out our bathroom mirrors, faucets, toilets, like all of that. But at this point, girl, we have been here for six hours. I was so tired, mentally exhausted, and I was ready to call it a day. It has been a while since I've treated myself to some highlights or something special with my hair. I've been feeling really blah with it and I've just been putting it in a bun. But right now I'm about to go into the salon and get some kind of something. I want a transformation, something beautiful. So I will see you guys in a few hours. So here's the hair. I did not love it at first, but it's really starting to grow on me. It's definitely warmer summer, like spring hair. I love the style that she did. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. This is the hair straight. I definitely like the curls in there, those more loose waves, but I like it in a chic bob like this as well. When I go back, I'm gonna get just the bottom part here lightened to a little more, is it white blonde or platinum blonde? Not quite so white, but just more blonde at the end so that I have dark roots and then it gets lighter and then like even lighter at the ends and it'll grow out in this really pretty way. So I'm excited for that. Where have I been? You guys, I took a week off to engage in a full-time job planning my trip to Italy. <laughs> when I say a full-time job, I mean six to seven hours per day for an entire week planning in detail what this trip is going to be. You know, when you plan to go somewhere new, you want to pick the best neighborhood. You watch a lot of videos on it. What food do I eat? What do I go see first? Do I need to get tickets ahead of time? How do the trains work? There was so much. And then on top of that, I wanted to read the reviews on staying at hotels versus Airbnb. And if I chose Airbnb, you have to read all of those reviews, you know? So it was just very extensive and I had a lot of fun doing it. And Chris is so thankful that I spent so, t so much time doing this because he's so busy at work. He said, thank you so much for taking initiative and taking care of it. I'm like, yeah, of course. I booked three flights, four Airbnbs, one high-speed train, one typical train, one hotel, one food tour, and one volcanic excursion. Moving on to my next big thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I started a 30-day challenge of only eating fruits, vegetables, and legumes. I'm about to go into Whole Foods right now. I'm so excited to start my 30-day challenge. There are people who have done this challenge raw, I am not doing it raw. There's no way I have the discipline to eat fruits and vegetables raw, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 30 days. I would fail. I'm, I'm setting myself up for failure. I don't have that type of um, self-control. 
yeah, I'm gonna share my experience with you guys. I've been doing a lot of smoothies and I have been very hangry, okay? The first three or four days you guys know of any kind of diet is miserable. But the reason I'm doing this is I wanna see what my body can do. I'm curious uh, in 30 days before I go on this trip. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna show you the before and after photos at the end of the 30 day challenge because let me tell you, they are so embarrassing. The amount of cellulite on my body, <laughs> I know I shouldn't be embarrassed about it, but it's kind of like, let's be realistic. It is not pleasant to look at, so it can feel embarrassing even though it's normal. Um, so I'll be sharing the before and after photos, uh, my weight before and after, update you guys on how I've been feeling week to week. By the time you guys see this video, I will be done with week one. The first four days were just absolutely miserable. And then the next day, like my body just got used to it. I started off just eating entire melons. I purchased cantaloupe and watermelon. Did you guys know that cantaloupe has 4.6 grams of protein and it's only 186 calories? Wow, it's extremely fibrous. I've been going to the bathroom like you wouldn't believe. It's been very healthy. I haven't had like diarrhea or anything. My digestion is in heaven. You feel very light and it's just great. The only thing is I'm hungry all the time, so I'm eating every three hours. I do put a plant-based protein powder in my smoothie. And you guys are probably like, protein? That's not a fruit or a vegetable. Well, it's peas. Plant protein, it's pea protein, so it's peas, okay? <laughs> This is my very favorite brand of plant protein. It's so delicious. It is a little expensive, but it's because it is the best tasting. It's not gritty. You know, there's no gluten, no soy, no dairy, no stevia, no gums, no emulsions, just 150 calories and they have a great flavor selection, including banana cinnamon and vanilla chai. I have it in my uh, Amazon store if you guys are interested, but Chris has tried these and he's hooked as well. So right now I have the regular vanilla and the chocolate peanut butter. Oh, delicious, filling, satisfying. And then for lunch, I've been having vegetable soup and I've been eating a lot of green olives stuffed with garlic, <laughs> just like out of the jar. Moving forward, we're gonna go upstairs because I'm gonna show you guys some new things. The first new thing that I have is my iPhone 15. Wow, I have been absolutely loving this. The camera quality. I have a mom who, anytime she hears background noise when we're talking, she's like, oh, are you busy? Or, oh, do the dogs need you? And she's nervous like that. And there's a noise canceling button that you can push while on a call and it takes out everything in the background. And then the camera, yeah, the cinematic video and whatever, that's the camera that I will be using while we're in Italy. Okay, the first dress that I wanna show you is from Mango. It is so stunning. Look at this. But look at this pretty like crocheting around the chest. Gorgeous, right? They look like little seashells. I'll show you what it looks like on the model. I purchased mine in a size eight and I think it's elegant. I can wear this to so many different occasions, picnics, church. Did I say church? This is way too much cleavage for church. I'm so used to saying church. Uh, not church, but day dates, shopping, errands. This is the perfect summer dress. I have a slip that I'm gonna wear underneath it because as per any white dress, it is a little bit see-through. And then on clearance, I got this bright pink dress for summer. Ew. Okay, on camera, it's coming off a weird color. Anyway, it has like the puffy sleeves and you can wear it off the shoulder. It cinches in at the waist, obviously, and it's nice and short. It's double lined, so nothing is see-through. I wish they would do that with the white dresses, but this looks really tiny, but I have such short legs, it fits me perfectly. It's very romantic and airy and looks fantastic on my figure. If you're someone who's more like shapely, this is very forgiving and hugs your curves in the right area. Next, I have this purple puffed mini dress that I got from Abercrombie. It is also very thick and double lined and you can wear this one off the shoulder as well. And the length, again, you get all their dresses as petite, regular, or tall. And then lastly, I plan to wear this skirt to Europe as well. I don't know if I showed you guys this one already or not, but it's this beautiful emerald green satin. This is a Nine West. It's like the accordion style. I forget, but anyway, I'm wearing it with this scarf that I got from Amazon. 
It wears so beautifully. You just float in it. It's elegant. It goes mid-calf and you just look dreamy, romantic, beautiful, feminine, like everything that you want to feel while you're on a nice vacation. I was having a bit of a blah day a while back and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I bought new shoes to kind of give myself a pick me up. I tried these on, they are so comfortable. Did I say they're from Target? I'll link them below. Oh my goodness, these are the Dior style sandals and they're adjustable, right? And it has the little lock here and they are very, very, very comfortable. I love these, you can wear them with shorts, or dresses or leggings. They have them in multiple colors. I am just obsessed. I think they were only like $26. Super affordable too, so love that. A couple of other affordable options. I got these dresses from Amazon. You guys have seen me wear this type before. It's the ribbed ones that go all the way down to the ground. I just got different colors. I'm really in love with this lavender, you know, pastel purple type of thing. So this is just an everyday dress. It's very long that I can easily throw on to run errands during the spring. This color looked really good on me, so I got this one. They were on sale for $32, I believe. And they got kind of this dusty blue. And these are coming off on camera pretty accurate. So yeah, I got gray and bright red. That is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I've been and what I've been up to. And now I'm gonna get back to it. I still have several things that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing very well. Thank you for everyone who's been checking up on me via Instagram and for your DMs. You guys are so sweet. And if you want to see what I'm doing in real time, you can follow me on my stories there. So have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.